They now, according to my research, has entered the Lango land today from Utuke. The chief settled in Ngeta Hills. So from there, some proceeded and occupied the land now called Lango. Lango were really one of the most organized military force in, in Uganda. Lango was respected and feared <laughs> for his military might. Lango participated a lot in eliminating slave trade. And they killed so many slave traders, so many. The Lange with, um, with whatever military equipment they had, they were able to destroy over 250 strong um, combined force. A contingent of about 250 slave raiders. Only one person went alive. And then also Lango people would also be called. Hmm? They would be invited, would be hired, I could say, mercenaries. The Lango first knew Baganda. Just like we did when we went and helped, helped the, with the Banyoro against the, the British invasion, when he also helped them against that conflict with the, with the, what? With the Baganda. Kavalega sought refuge together with the Mwanga. The two monarchs ran for safety in Kangai. They fought for one day from about 3 o'clock on, uh, on 8th April, 1899. Up to three o'clock. The next day, 24 hours. Yeah, uh, 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 three o'clock of the 9th April, because Kap Kabalega was captured on the 9th April, 1899, together with uh, Mwanga. That spirit that made Langi and Acholi to lose children, to lose life, to protect the kings of Bunyoro and Buganda, we need to pursue that spirit, capture it, and bring it back. Wacheka, chel, 